Yeah, it's funny, so we're behind the rack now. It was funny, when I was standing over there, I was being deafened by that other commodity server over there, and I was freezing. Now, I'm like, it's actually really quiet back here, but it's actually hot, because you can feel all of the heat coming off of this thing. And it is actually really remarkable to me, always remarkable to me, uh, how, much, how much noise the fans don't make. So we're here in the back of the rack. Uh, we, this is the DC bus bar in here. So this is this copper bus bar. We've got the power shelf in here. So we've got our, our, our power whips coming in there. They, they snake up through the floor into the rack. They convert from AC to DC. And we got that DC running up and down the rack. Um, the cabling that we have here, this is the, this is the high speed networking here. But as a user of this rack, I don't have to unplug this cabling at all. This is all fixed. This is fixed at the factory. So this is the way it arrives. And because, you know, when you look at some of these other racks around here, cabling is a mess, in part because it's left to the user to go cable all this stuff. This is all comes pre-cabled here. So it, we can see uh, we've got our switches here. Again, these are our switches in the middle of the rack. Um, and each of these switches is connected to both sleds. So both sleds are connected to both switches, um, which allows us to balance across both switches. So we don't have an active passive or active standby in terms of the switches. Both switches are in service all the time. It does allow us to upgrade a switch, for example, um, without being overly disruptive. But when, when both switches are up, we can optimize across them. We can take the, the, the fastest path uh, across the network here. Um, we also see we got the doors here. I had opened up the doors. Uh, the doors are important. Appreciated the doors when we uh, we had to get our our what's called EMC, uh, electromagnetic compliance. So it's important when you're making a product the, that it not radiate uh, emissions to interfere with other products. And if we didn't all do this, when we were in a data center like this, nothing would work because everything would be interfering with one another. When we first did our compliance, I really appreciated how important these doors are because we got to close these doors to prevent any, any kind of stray emissions from interfering with other things. So these doors are actually quite load bearing and important. Um, what else do we have here? We've got actually in here, you can see in addition to uh, the, our power shelf, there is a little light back there for our power shelf controller. So I mentioned the service processor that we did on our compute sleds. We took that same service processor and root of trust that's in the switches, and then that's also in the power shelf controller. And so the power shelf controller, the, the switches, the compute sleds are, are they're networked via the high speed network. And then we use some of the unused lanes here, unused pairs uh, to wire up all the service processors. So you can manage this whole thing remotely without having to get any of the cabling right, which is a really big deal. Because if you, on these other machines, you've got high speed networking and you've got this other management network that has to be cabled separately, managed separately and so on. Here, you don't have any of that. This is really, really clean. And if you've got, you can always see how much someone has suffered in a data center because of their reaction. The reaction is like, yeah, I don't know, what else would you do? It's like, okay, that person hasn't spent much time in a data center. But with the, for the right person, they'll be like, wait a minute, what, this is it? This is great. This is so clean and it's so absent of all of this, this other gunk that exists in the way people have been doing it historically. Because historically, it's a real kit car to take this commodity infrastructure and turn it into something that resembles a cloud. With the rack scale machine, you roll it in, you power it up, you configure you know, those technician ports, and you have true elastic computing on-prem in your data center.